Hello, this is a quick video about how to build your own contact centre dashboard with a little help from Comstis. The contact centre dashboard requirements change for every business and customer service team. Now because of that, we created this widget based system where users can create their own dashboards, save them and share the web link with other colleagues. They can also save multiple views and display them as a slideshow on a single screen. We've created 10 different layouts with different shapes and sizes, and each layout has up to eight boxes. Now once you select your layout, you can click on a box and there's a whole list of widgets. You can find the full list of widgets on our website, which is compstis.com forward slash wallboard. Each widget shows real time and daily historical data for key performance indicators. We also have widgets for the new Cisco Live data feed. This list here is for Cisco UCCX. After you select a widget, you can click on the settings button and filter the data for the selected agents or queues. You can also rename the widget title if you prefer. Let's select a few other widgets. Once you select widgets for all of these boxes, you can save them and store them with the layout with all of its settings. You can see the saved layout on the side menu. As you can see, you can also copy the web link of the saved layout and share it with your colleagues. Then they can see the same view with the same settings. Let's create another view, this time with an hourly chart. Now, hourly charts come with additional setting options where you can select the start and end time of the chart. This helps you focus on the part of the day that you're interested in rather than the whole 24 hours. There are some widgets that are a combination of multiple parameters. It's also possible to add a new performance indicator as a widget either from Cisco contact centers or from third party applications such as Salesforce. As you can see, some widgets such as Calls in Queue and Aldous in Queue come with threshold options. For example, in Aldous in Queue you can set the threshold settings for amber and red background. Once the threshold values are reached, the backgrounds will be colour coded. Let's save this view as well. You can see that we have two views saved. Once you have multiple saved views, you can then come to the slider view and see them as a slideshow in case you only have one screen. You can have up to four saved layouts in the slideshow. Comstis Wallboard is a Linux based platform which comes with a pre configured virtual machine. It requires 2 GB of memory, 10 GB of disk space, and two virtual CPUs. It's quite a lean machine. You can download it as a single file, which is three and a half gigabytes. Once you make a decision, you can have Comstis Wallboard and we can put it up and running within 24 hours. Here you can see how Comstis Wallboard looks like on a large screen. In this example, we use Intel Compute, CP on a stick type of solution, and as you can see, it has a HDMI connection and fits into the back of the wallboard monitor. Otherwise, you can always use a mini PC such as Intel Nuke and feed multiple wallboard monitors from the same PC. Thank you very much for watching. Please visit our website, which is compstis.com forward slash wallboard for the data sheets and more information.